welcome back to my channel so in today's video I thought I would share with you guys my tw December 2020 empties I know we're in January and I just hadn't got around to filming but I had them set aside these are all of the empties that I have used up uh, for the end of 2020 the end of the year so if you are like me, you are probably super excited that 2020 is over. I am. I'm just excited and looking forward to um, all the good things that can happen this year and all of that. And so I thought we would just share with you my empties, let you know all the stuff that I finished up this uh, for December. Now, November, I did film an empties video for you guys, but unfortunately, I forgot about the video. It was on my camera and I just recently found it. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to upload that because it's so old already. And I figured since December and I wanted to do that end of the year one. And I have quite a bit, so I figured might as well just go ahead and do that. So um, I hope that you guys are having a great day. Let's just go ahead and get started so it's not a very, very long video. Okay, so this is the Garnier Fruity Style Mega Full Thickening Lotion. Um, it is a five fluid ounce. I got this um, on Amazon, man, many, many, many years ago because you can no longer get it in the regular store. You can only get it on Amazon, I think still. Um, but I love this. I like it when I do... Um, after I get out the shower and my hair is wet, I put it in the crown of my head. You air dry it, you can blow dry it, and if you do the blow dryer, it will make it a lot fuller. But I usually would let it just air dry and it gives me a lot of volume, a lot of fullness. So I do love this. If I could still find it on Amazon, I definitely would repurchase it. Um, we did finish up one, two, three. I think I only have three wipes in here. Um, these are bottom wipes. I get these at Sam's Club in a box of, I think, nine packs for about $12 or so. We love these. They don't irritate, burn, anything like that. They have a really soft fragrance. Um, these, me and my husband used up. My kids throw theirs away, um, but I did keep these for me and my husband. I constantly repurchase this. Constantly will. I love them. This is the Glade Lemon Fresh um, Spray finish that up. We love this. We constantly repurchase that. And actually, surprisingly, those are cheaper at Walmart and Target than they are at Dollar Tree. I usually, Dollar Tree usually gets like those scents, that odd scents that are not usually at like Target and Walmart, you know. Um, so usually I'll pick it up there if it's one of those. But for something like that, that's a common scent I will get at Target or Walmart. Okay, this is, I think I have two of these. These were from my husband. The, these are the um, Bellerio from Dollar Tree, Bellerio Men's Body Wash in Cedar Wood and Eucalyptus. And this one is in Charcoal and Bamboo. Um, he did go through two of these. And these were nice. The scent is really nice and pleasant. It's not like super strong or overpowering. And they're very sensitive on the skin, so that's really nice. The only thing that my husband, um, mentioned was they don't get very sudsy. So you find yourself using quite a bit, but he did enjoy it. I don't know that he would want me to repurchase them, but I did want him to try them for me because it is the Bellerio brand from, um, and I wanted to give you guys the feedback, but he said they were not bad. Um, he just likes his soaps to get really sudsy and these did not. Is the Beauty and Planet Turmeric and Tonka Essence uh, Conditioner. My kids use this up. And I actually tried this when it was in their shower. I tried it uh, when my husband was sick. And I actually did not really care for it. I didn't feel like it smelled nice, but I didn't like the way it made my hair feel. I don't feel like it um, really made my hair feel soft or anything. So I don't know that I would repurchase this for them. The Beauty, um, these are the 150 square uh, cotton pads. I love these. They remind me so much of the Shiseido ones, but cheaper. I think for this pack, it's about $6.99. And you, like I said, you get 150. They're really, really good. I really enjoy them, and I would constantly repurchase those. I do need to get some, actually. I completely forgot. Um, this is the Sikapair Calming Mask. I received this from Nat, uh, Little Miss Nat, here on YouTube in a 
Christmas gift exchange and I really did enjoy this. I love the way it made my skin feel. I definitely want to get another one of these and probably try some more from this brand um, because it was really nice. Hydrated my skin. My skin felt really nice and plump. So I really did enjoy that. This is the La Bella Provincia Coconut Lime Scented Body Mist. I got this as a gift from a friend, my, um, my neighbor. And um, I finally used it up. This took me so long to use up, but I finally used it up. And so glad about that. Um, this is the Herbal Essence Argan Oil uh, Repair Conditioner. Right there, this was my kids. I think they enjoyed this. Um, it smells so good. But yeah, I don't know that they would want that again. This is the Assured from Dollar Tree Fem Feminine Wash. You guys always see these in here. I love them. I constantly repurchase. They don't irritate or bother me at all, so I use them. Oh, here's the shampoo to that conditioner that my kids used up from Herbal Essence. I do believe they really enjoyed this a lot. And this is the Argan Oil. It says that it has zero parabens. Um, it's 90% natural and real botanicals. So, yeah, um, I probably would repurchase this for them because I do like that it's, there's no parabens and things like that in it. And they both have really curly hair, so that's a good thing for them. So, two-in-one Nutra Air Eliminator uh, Tropical Breeze. This is nice. Um, one thing I will say is I like this one a lot better than the original. And obviously the can isn't really big, but this eliminates and disinfects. Um, the other one, you know, like the regular original Lysol, I don't care so much for the scent. It's so strong that sometimes I find that it can give me a little bit of like a headache or if I spray too much or like make me feel kind of sick. Um, so this one I would prefer over that one, but obviously you get a smaller container with this one. But I did enjoy this and would repurchase it if I could find it. Suave Powder 24-hour deodorant solid. I like this. Um, I do... I would repurchase it. This is the Degree Black and White. I got this at Dollar Tree. I do enjoy this, um, but I probably will not purchase these little ones anymore from Dollar Tree because they, I feel that they go out too fast. Um, I do like that it doesn't get on the clothing. I do like that it doesn't make my under pits feel sticky, but I probably would, um, if I repurchase it, I'll get the full size like at Target or Walmart or something like that. It is a Summer's Eve Blissful Escape freshening spray five in one for women um it's talc free neutralizes odor absor absorbs mo moisture um and yeah so i like these i already have another one in my bathroom now i will repurchase those i like that um we finished up four toothpastes um two of the max fresh breath right there we love these. We will repurchase. This is the Ultra White with Charcoal. I like that one as well. It's just that one ran out very, very, very quickly. And then this is the Colgate 2-in-1 Icy Blast Whitening. I like that one as well. We get these from the Dollar Tree. Um, we can't, we have backups already. We love getting them. I told you guys before that I get the, I check the price at Walmart and Target and this is like almost $4. So I get it at Dollar Tree because you can't beat it. This is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brightener Argan Nut Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. This was my daughter's. She did like it, um, but she needs something a little bit more um, like uh, for acne related because, you know, she has that young acne, but she did enjoy it. I don't know that she would want me to repurchase it. And I did have another wipes, which I did not know in here. This was my husband's. This is the Christopher Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. Um, I got this, I think, in a box or something. And I gave it to my husband because I told you guys before that I can't really use scrubs on my head because my hair is so long and I just feel like it's a waste. So I give them to him and he enjoys them. This is the Garnier Clear Brighter um, Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum 15. Um, oil free. My daughter did like this. It came with this face scrub that I just showed you in a pack. It was like a little dual like right here and um, 
she did enjoy this. So I think she would want me to repurchase that for her in the full size. This was a small toothpaste my husband had when he went to work out of town. This is the Whitening Therapy Charcoal Crest. I believe this is from Dollar Tree as well. I don't think this was great value because we could have got the full size one. Um, don't know that we would repurchase those again. Okay, so last few items are... Um, so my friend Beth here on YouTube, she has been doing, she did in December, she did like a advent calendar kind of thing where she took all her sampled products, perfumes, makeup items, whatever, skincare, and she threw it in a box and every day in December she picked one and she used it and tried to use it up. Um, so I did that. I went ahead and, and from her idea, I did my perfumes because I had a lot of little mini perfume samples. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so I did. Um, I didn't do all the little mini uh, makeup products. I just did the perfumes because I have so many of them. I wanted to go through them. So I did finish some up. So I finished the Valentino Vogue Viva. That's the newest one. I loved that one. I want that perfume so bad, but I just don't want to pay the price right now because I don't need it. So, but it was very, very nice. I finished up the Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance. I didn't care for that one too much. It was the Tory Burch Jolie, I think is what it's called. That one was okay as well. I didn't care for that one. Um, I did love the Daisy Love Marc Jacobs. I do have a full size in the Daisy, um, uh, regular Daisy Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. I really enjoyed that one. So those were the perfumes I used up in December. Um, we did use up a Colgate floss pack. And I used up the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Lip Conditioner. And I even took the stopper out because I did not want to waste a drop of this. I absolutely loved it. I would definitely repurchase it again. It just made my lips feel so good. So yeah, I loved that. And then this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Boosting Serum. You use this at nighttime on your lashes. Um, I wouldn't say that it did a whole lot. I, you know, did use it and um, every time I went to put it on, I was like, is it even putting anything? So sometimes I felt like it did, sometimes I didn't. Um, but I don't, I didn't notice a huge difference, so I would not repurchase that. Last two items are skincare. I used up the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum Translucent Luminous Peach Extract with Peptide Complex. Now, I got this, I think, in either a BoxyCharm, Ipsy, or a Allure. I really did enjoy this, but I will say that the only bad downside was that it went so quickly, like I probably would say in a couple weeks, like, and I just used, you know, the regular serum amount that you would use. I don't know that I would repurchase for that reason. And then the last thing is the Coors Wild Rose uh, Vitamin C Brightening 24 Hour Moisturizer. This is what it looks like. I got this at Ross on clearance for like $6 and some change. There it is there. I love the smell. It made my skin feel really, really hydrated, really, really good. I did really like it a lot. Totally would repurchase it. Um, so guys, that is everything that I used up for December and for the end of the year of 2020. I think I did pretty good, I have to say. Um, I do want to try to work on finishing up more makeup products and all of that. Uh, that is my goal this year. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love for you to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to join uh, my YouTube channel and all of that and watch more videos from me. And if not, no worries. But I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.